hello friends welcome back to the channel in today's video we'll be making this gorgeous gorgeous fascinator that you have right here on your screen this fascinator was requested by one of my awesome awesome clients and i went straight to work and came up with this gorgeous gorgeous headpiece if you're interested in knowing the process of how i came up with this gorgeous gorgeous design please make sure you watch this video to the end okay so you don't miss out on any important information if you enjoy watching the tutorial at the end or in between please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up that thumbs up supports my channel greatly finally please do well to share with your friends or family members that would love this type of tutorial if you are yet to subscribe to this channel now will be a wonderful time to hit the subscribe button and also turn on your post notification which is that bell button right beside the subscribe button that bell would help you know every single time i post a new video all right guys let's get straight into today's tutorial let's go To make this headpiece, you need a non-stretchy fabric. I'm using this Mikado fabric. You also need your fascinator cap, and this is the cap that I'll be working with for this tutorial. You would also be needing your headband of choice. Of course, I'm working with this headband that I have right here on the screen. You'll also be needing your fabric that you're going to be using to wrap the headband and this right here is the fabric that i'm going to be using to wrap my headband you need your crinoline or horse hair depending on what you choose to call it i'm using the three inch crinoline you also need a stretchy fabric i'm working with this velvet fabric finally you'll be using your bias tape as well the very first thing I'm going to be doing is to wrap my headband. I have a full-blown tutorial on how to wrap a headband neatly. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it on the screen for you. This is the end result of my headband after wrapping. And you guys can see how gorgeous and how neatly done it looks. Feel free to go ahead to check out that headband, to headband wrapping tutorial so you also know how to wrap your headband neatly. Just like what you have right here on your screen. The next thing we'll be doing is to wrap our fascinator cap and you achieve this by cutting a piece of fabric that is going to cover up your fascinator cap. If you're not interested in covering your fascinator cap, that's fine. But for me, I like to cover my fascinator caps just to give the end result of my work a very lush look. And what I'm doing here is I'm just measuring the diameter of the fascinator cap that I am working with and I eventually got 9 inches. I'm going to go ahead to cut a piece of fabric that is about 11 inches by 11 inches. I added two extra inches to the diameter of this fascinator cap just to allow for security to avoid any issues while wrapping my headband and as usual I've done this in a previous tutorial I'm going to be showing you all how I'm going to be covering up this fascinator cap so make sure you stay glued to your screen I'm using this UHU glue to apply gum onto the brim of my cap and i'm also going to be using these binder clips to secure the fabric that i'm covering this fascinator cap with onto the fascinator cap okay i hope you guys understand everything i just said so i'm just here selecting the binder clips that i'm going to be using and i'm also applying the glue onto the brim of the cap like i mentioned earlier and i decided to just speed through this process so i don't bore you guys take your time feel free to use any glue you like okay but i would not advise you use hot glue because i feel like hot glue usually ends up being very hard when it dries up and it just makes your work more strenuous okay so use either your b6000 glue or your uhu glue if you're trying to do exactly what i'm doing or you could also use your es1000 glue or any other lightweight glue that you find in your local sewing accessories shop so I'm just going to move through really, really quickly and cover up this fascinator cap. I have a similar tutorial to this. I'm going to link that tutorial on the screen. Feel free to also watch that fascinator tutorial in order to just, you know, add to your knowledge of fascinator designs that you can make for yourself or for your clients. I'm going to keep quiet real quick. Allow you guys to watch the way I'm securing the fabric onto the fascinator cap. And then we'll move on to the next stage of this tutorial.
all right guys so this is what the fascinator cap looks like after i trimmed off the excess fabric okay i'm just here applying my bias tape to the brim of the cap just to cover up the raw edge of the fabric and to just make the end result of your fascinator look really neat and professionally made for this i'm using my hot glue to basically apply the bias tape because i don't have time to wait for my lightweight glue to dry up with lightweight glue they tend to take a while to dry up and i was in a hurry to finish up this particular headpiece okay i was supposed to travel the following day after i made this headpiece so i was like i was trying my best to move really really quickly so if you have a lot of time on your hands instead of using your hot glue you can use your lightweight glue so this is me here basically wrapping up the application of the bias tape and right after that i went ahead to just set aside this fascinator cap and i moved on to the next stage in this particular tutorial if you've been enjoying the video so far please 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 do well to hit the like button that way i know that you guys found value from watching this video the next thing we want to do is to do that cute little bow design that we have on the final result of this Headpiece, okay, and all that entails is just a piece of fabric, okay, your lightweight fabric. For me, I'm working with this Mikado fabric. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to sew the entire length of this fabric. This fabric was about 40 inches long and about seven and a half inches wide. Okay, feel free to tweak it to your own desired dimension. But for me, the dimension I mentioned earlier is what I did. Okay, and I'm going to be attaching that bow design onto this fascinator cap but i'm not going to get ahead of myself i'm going to show you how that will be done so right after sewing the entire length of this fabric another thing you should take note of is that i pressed on and interfacing on this fabric before turning it inside out this whole process is very similar to the last tutorial that i uploaded on the channel if you've not seen that video please check out the video that i uploaded i think three days ago or four days ago just look through my channel okay the looped headband the way i created that loop is the same way i going to create this piece of fabric that is going to serve as our bow okay so what i'm doing now is i'm passing my crinoline in between this fabric okay and this is what i have here watching that other tutorial is really going to help you understand everything that i'm doing here i'm going to now take off this my bodkin that i used to pass the crinoline through my fabric the next thing i'm going to do is to close up the edge of this fabric by just folding it in this way and securing the crinoline inside the fabric if you don't understand what i just did please feel free to rewind look at what i did or preferably you can check out the last tutorial the looped headband tutorial that i uploaded on the channel sometime last week okay so what i'm doing here is i'm just showing you how i'm going to be closing up the edge of this fabric i'm going to do this for the two open ends of the fabric and this is what we have here okay another thing you need is a piece of fabric that's going to be at the center of your bow i'm going to leave the dimension of that fabric on the screen take note of it while we continue in this tutorial so this is my fabric okay that has the crinoline in between what i'm going to do now is i'm going to fold it in a way that the end result will just be a cute little bow like end result okay i don't know how to explain it just watch the way i'm folding over the fabric to get my bow once that is done i'm going to get my needle and thread to just create a bow with this piece of fabric okay watching what i'm doing is very very important at this point in the tutorial what i'm doing now is i'm just reaching for my needle and thread and i'm just basically looking at the center of this folded fabric to determine where i'm going to sew on to create my bow for this portion of the video talking might not really do it so please watch what i'm doing and replicate it on your own project if you have any questions for me as usual please feel free to drop it in the comment section and i'll be sure to respond to you once i see your comment okay i'm going to keep quiet now allow you guys watch the way i'm creating my bow and then i'm going to come back to continue walking you guys through this process
this point, we are going to be covering up the center where we created that bow with this piece of fabric that I told us about earlier on. I feel like what I cut was too long. So while doing yours, please feel free to cut a dimension that you will find suitable when creating your bow okay but if you still want to do exactly what i'm doing feel free to use the dimension that i showed you guys earlier on that i used for my own piece of fabric okay this is just how i'm securing the bow at the center i went ahead to finish it up with a knot but if you don't want a knot you can just do a perfect piece of fabric that will just cover up the center without creating any knot okay feel free to make changes where necessary in replicating this tutorial after i created the knot i went ahead to use my needle and thread to just secure that knot what i'm doing here is i'm just placing the bow on top of the wrapped fascinator cap just to imagine what the end result would look like okay and once that was done i went ahead to just use my needle and thread to just secure this bow in place and make everything look nice and smooth after that was done i went ahead to just attach this bow design onto the fascinator cap sewing this entire thing was pretty difficult because of how chunky the fabric was so i had to be using this piece of cloth to just push the needle through in order not to injure myself right after doing that i cut off my thread and secured my stitch right there the next thing i'll be doing now is to attach this bow onto the fascinator cap like i explained earlier and all that entails is just simple stitches that will just make your bow and your fascinator cap one single piece of design okay here i was just trying to determine how i wanted to place the bow i didn't know whether i wanted it to be standing or laying flat on the fascinator cap while recreating your own design feel free to do whatever you like you can make yours in such a way that the bow sits flat on the fascinator cap or it sits just perfectly on top just like what i have right here for my own work okay feel free to make changes to your own design after i went ahead to sew on the bow the next thing i did was to apply a little bit of glue onto my wrapped plastic headband and i just placed the fascinator cap onto the plastic headband after that was done i still went ahead again to use my needle and thread to secure the fascinator cap onto the plastic headband and finally i also applied a bit of fascinator nets to the front of the fascinator that i made and the end result looked absolutely gorgeous in this portion of the video i'll be showing you guys how i laid the net onto the fascinator cap but for those that want a full-blown you know in-depth look into how this was done please feel free to check out my last vlog i'm going to link it on the screen in that vlog i showed the people that watched the video how i attached the net onto the fascinator cap and this is the end result of this gorgeous gorgeous fascinator if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up okay that thumbs up is very important to me because it lets me know that you guys enjoyed watching and it also lets the youtube algorithm know that my audience love the video that i uploaded for them okay also don't forget to share with your friends and family if you have any friend or family member that would love this type of content please do well to share with them sharing is caring thank you guys so much again for watching today's video i really really appreciate and i love every single one of you and yeah guys i can't wait to see you in another one bye